bad man. You can't believe it, dog. I can't believe it, stand up. I can get that one nine leg, dog. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Wagwan people, hope everybody know okay, hope everybody know right. Thank you God for another sunrise, for your many blessings, your love for my family and my friends, and for giving me the strength and guiding me through the storm of life. We are all here to live a fabulous life, a life of love, truth and joy. We all have the power to wake up to that. Open all this, what me have to say now? Even though at times it is hard to see, we have the power to say, I am not just here to survive, I am here to live the greatest life that can be lived. Big up everybody who lives yet another morning. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and not amongst the dead. Only the same thing I go on the news and the police them finally do the right thing. Give them bail I make them friend them slap them with. Well, on, we soon reach right there, I'm going to start the news right as the first. Three men charged following firearm and ammunition seizure. Three men arrested and charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition following the siege of two firearm and 36 rounds of assaulted ammunition during a joint police military operation on Williams Road, Kingston 5 on Friday, July 15. Why the police never slap them away? Right now, my boy, I should have dead, 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 dead. Said what I said, and I mean what I said, I'm not taking back. Let me tell you where them name. 22 year old O'Keefe Jones, otherwise called Fred them, a laborer of John's Lake in Kingston 10. Me tell him I don't like nothing named laborer. All of them supposed to get slapped with. Brother, we're going to flock together, so you are going now. 22 year old Romario Robinson, otherwise called Gaza, a sale representative of Comanche Drive in St. Catherine. And 25 year old Joseph Smith, a customer service representative from Kingston 13. Report from then and town police said about 10.30 p.m. Members of the security force were conducting a vehicle checkpoint operation when the driver of the motor vehicle with three men aboard was signaled to stop. A search was conducted and one marked jack a rifle with a magazine containing 22 rounds, one Berta pistol with a magazine affixed containing 12 rounds were seized. An additional two 9mm rounds of ammo was found in the pocket of one of the accused. All three, yes people, all three men who should or should have been dead were taken into custody and subsequently charged. Police them should have slapped them with. You understand? Anyway, now, people, you can go to some update. You understand? Third victim died following gun attack in Ace Clarendon. Yes, people. One more dead. People, I can tell you the truth. I was sorry for them for one hand and for the next hand, I don't want to sorry for them. But one thing in me, you know, I just can talk the truth. So I can tell the family member them this. Whatever happened to them, I feel them fault. You understand? Them still are gonna play domino with a known criminal. Yes, people, a known criminal. So they expect that happen when the gunman them come. Eh? Them think that's a criminal alone, the gunman them will have fire for no, 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 no. Everybody will get wet up. Anyway, I'm gonna finish the news. Told from the attack by gunman in Ace Clarendon on Tuesday night has increased. Oni Lennon, a 51 year old from Cap Chalon, Newtown in Ace, died on Thursday morning in hospital. People, stop what you are doing and make sure you're looking. That is O'Neill right there. You understand? O'Neill dead, dead, dead. The other victim, remember me talk about the other victim, remember already? 16-year-old Mario Gibson and 40-year-old Christopher Romani. Yes, them dead right on the spot. Anyway, people, make I move on with the news, yeah? Today are Friday, but Sunday news still fresh in our memory. Remember the bus return over and two people dead? Well, on. We have more. Another person has died from Sunday to Vic Collision on the Landover Main Road in St. Anne's. Kenesha Campbell, a 20-year-old from Brownstown, died Thursday morning at the St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital. Miss Campbell was one of four persons who were in critical condition from the crash. Eight people remain in the St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital, while five have been transported to hospital in other parishes. One, only one, let me say it again, one person has been discharged. 
gets people. One person alone, free and they are road a walk. But hold on the dog, people. Westmoreland, my God. I like them type of news I like, you know, people. I like them type of news. Come here, let's tell the police them. Make sure them get bail. You understand? And then get bail on the Pam Plaza. All commentary coming from the plaza. And we have the picture of them too. So no worry on yourself. The Westmoreland police has confirmed that 34 year old Sean Smith, otherwise called Blacks, was yesterday even shot and killed on a plaza in the town of Savramar. Smith, who was recently on the police wanted list, was arrested and charged with wounding with intent and illegal possession of firearm earlier this month. The police said, Yes, people, listen and listen good. The Westmoreland police are reported that Smith was allegedly a part of a group of men who went to George's Plain in the parish on Sunday, July 16, and opened gunfire into a man who was later admitted in hospital. According to the eyewitness, Smith, who was released, Yesterday, yes, people. See, time him get released, him get slapped with. What a joy. What a joy. Was standing on the plaza when he was pounced upon by two unknown assailants who fired multiple shots, hitting him. And guess what, people? Him dead right by the spot and him pants over there, waist. Yes, pants over there, boy, waist. And he has that fish water, so. No one rare himself. Oh, the gas is dead by the light on the ground. I'm going to attack them, man. Yeah? I'm going to attack them. I'm going to attack them. One shot in it, man. The one they can get a shot in it, please. Can you lick off? You shot them one night, man. You shot them? Saturday night? I think so. Between Friday Saturday and Sunday, man. Saturday, Saturday night? Yes. No. No, I don't really know, but a couple shot me here. The tree stone in that place. So, where the money come from? See, you know that one here. The block can be all over this. Thing. One of the funny fears. Mm-hmm. We look for the head crown. Record. And big hole in that, man. I'll buy two next to the head. Record, too, man. Record, man. He made mush up, man. Eh? All in the belly. Oh, crap. So the question by everybody lips. I know I'm not going to ask my view. Who them are two youth that get executed? No need to worry yourself. 32 year old Gary Myers from Fairfield Road in a Spanish town. I see the next guy, brother. Him name Jeremiah. Not like the Jeremiah in the Bible. Because this is Jeremiah of our old crosses. Him come from Fraser's Garden. Him and them fix the two of them business. You understand? If I'm not sure about that, let me show about this. This one family member come up on crime scene. I tell you what them do. Them talk all of the nicest of the things them. But what you want here, yeah, them don't want to talk. Don't worry on yourself. Me I go tell you these people. Them the boy never did a gun man. Said what I said and I mean what I said. I'm not talking about the people them don't come to my view. I told gun man that they didn't know. Big, big, big gun man them. A terrorizing scheme. Day in, day out. So, the man them line them up and fix them business. You can't know when people write down them story. Long time and put it down. Here, Jeremiah, your family member now. We get a phone call mm -hmm. that the body is over here. When we come, we see body over there. So we search at the house, at the house where he was staying and see if he was mm -hmm. the same Saturday evening. And then we call this phone and nothing. Mm -hmm. He's a family person, so we, as we know there's something wrong. When we are calling him, and we don't get it. And the girlfriend come by and say somebody come call him out and find this son out. I don't know, see a little family at trouble me I already put a little money aside for my room. So all I need for you now, how you can organize the little nine nights where people them can come and partake in the little free food business. Hold on, because from the other day now the people that ask for my view. We are going for the DPP. Remember, remember good now, she don't really have no whole for common sense. But DPP police police investigators weren't swayed by the public outrage in Donnelly case. Hold on. Hold on, DPP. If it was for the public. If it was of a John public, there wouldn't be any case. Me and you know that. Remember, you not try your best. If you push it on the little mat, and the people them come out and attack, that is why they wish party they're right now. The public prosecution, Paul Lewin, is commending police investigators for the work done on Donnelly Donald's case. Donaldson was reportedly missing on July 11. She has not been seen or heard of since. Remember that people can't talk, you understand? And dead people can't really walk up and down. And people, remember this and remember this good. The dead have no power. So all who feel like they have power, think again. Dead have no power. Anyway, 
Mr. DPP now. Pressure from the public and sometimes misunderstanding and thanklessness too. It goes with the territory. But this is what happens when you are a professional. You can't be detained by that. What is important is giving service above self and using your skill. And in fact, all of us as prosecutors, subsequently when we met at the office, remarked that we were quite impressed at the amount of ground that had been covered in the short space of time in what is a difficult investigation. Although we appreciate the, on a human level, the public angst, the anger or the emotion coming from very, very unfortunate and tragic circumstances in any case, in the court of public opinion, it cannot replace the requirements in a court of law. You cannot. What you have and what is disturbing that you not only have persons who I call uninformed commentators who because they want to get likes so that they can monetize their channel, they are prepared to 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 transmit falsehoods, slander libel and falsehood what it can do is distract the police and cause them sometimes to have to deploy their resources to follow a line of inquiry that is really a falsehood mm. so what i would ask members of the public to do is not to get too caught up into this hype and this you know wanting to to get likes so you're going to just say anything allow the police investigators to do their job i would wish to hasten to assure the public that there are several cases that the police and the prosecutors and indicom cooperating behind the scenes and we have a conclusion that honors the administration of justice that was the dpp hold on a bit dead body no stop pile up wanna say they can't believe what Hear this now.